Hi everybody and welcome to the American Family Insurance Dream Bank, where we believe the world is a better place when people are actively pursuing their dreams. My name is Nick and in today's craft we are going to be making one of these, a stamped leaf painting. And we will be using some leaves off of a tree. So I know it's fall right now, but hopefully there are a few leaves left for you to go pick. Bring them indoors, get your paints, get a surface to paint on. We'll go over all the supplies and we will get started. All right, so to go over supplies, I've got some leaves from outside and I have a variety of these. I also have two paintbrushes, a thick and a thin one. I have black acrylic paint, a dark green, medium green, light green, a yellow, and a red just for signing our signature at the end. And the yellow I may or may not use. We've got water to wash our brushes. And with that and any painting project, I've got paper towel on hand, which is always a good idea. Now our painting here is done on a piece of foam core. You can see it's about a quarter of an inch thick, so I just have another piece. This is actually just a scrap that I had, and it's a really nice surface to paint on, though it's pretty sturdy, but you could use a canvas or anything else you have handy. And then this is just a scrap of paper that I'm going to use sort of as my palette to put my paints on. So we'll shake this one up. And we will start with this darker green, and that's the one that we're going to use to make our background. Now, if you look on my, my sample here, the background has just kind of a texture on it, almost like a leafy texture, and that is made by doing these X's like this. So when I'm painting this on, I'm just sort of doing brush strokes that are like little X's, and we're just going to cover the whole canvas. We'll speed things up here so you can see the progress. And you can tell that this one's a lot lighter than my sample, so I'll actually go in and do another coat and kind of layer these on. And just to give you a close-up of the X style brush stroke here, that's all I'm doing. And leaving a little bit of light and dark in there is going to give you the effect of looking at, you know, a tree full of leaves or a bunch of foliage at once. So we'll give the brush a little wash here. Okay, so now we have our kind of medium green color, and this is going to be the base color for the leaves. So we'll want to shake that up. And now we're going to take a leaf, and what we're actually going to do is paint the paint directly onto the leaf and then press it onto our background. And I will mention the background has dried at this point, so it is dry to the touch. So I put the leaf on top of a paper towel just to protect my work surface. And you are just going to spread that paint pretty thickly on here because you do want it to transfer onto the canvas that you're working on. So I'm just making sure I have a nice coating over the entire leaf. I'm not going to worry about the stem right now. And then just plan where you want to place it. And then press it down, going all the way around. Peel that up and you'll see we have the leaf shape. So that is how we are using leaves to stamp onto our canvas. So I'm going to speed this up here, and then you can sort of see the progress here. And just to give you an extra shot of peeling this up, and it leaves these really nice, like dark and light parts that I think are very fun and interesting for this painting. I think one of the best parts of this painting is overlapping some of the leaves. Because then when we go in and paint the shadows and highlights, you get to choose what leaf is on top of what other one. And be sure to wash your hands. This can be a messy process or wear gloves or just be careful what you go and touch. And then we're going to wash our brush in the sink as well. All right, so now we have highlights and shadows here and we're going to work on that. Like I said, pick out what leaves are on top of which other ones. 
and determine that by what shadows we put in. And again, this, this has dried at this point. So in between each of these steps, it's probably best to let your painting dry all the way just so you don't smear your previous work with the new wet paint. So we're gonna take a little bit of black and now we're going in and making shadows. And so you're gonna put a shadow around the first leaf that is closest to you or on top of all the other leaves. So I have determined that this kind of little heart-shaped leaf here is gonna be the one that's on top. And I have diluted the black a little bit. I went in with a wet paintbrush and pulled some of that black acrylic paint toward me to thin it out some. And that way it'll spread a little easier and thinner on the canvas and be a little more translucent. Since this is more of a shadow, I don't want an extremely intense black line, but you know, the, it, it does help it to stand out against the background to have a strong shadow. So I work my way around with this diluted black paint and just outlining it. And then I'm going to take a little bit of just water and go back in and kind of blend that black paint outward before it dries completely. You can see what I'm doing here. So it's sort of pulling it away a little bit from the leaf, kind of making a shadow around it. And that's really going to be the trick to making this feel dimensional. Even though the painting itself is a little cartoony, um, it, it can have some dimension to it. And then we're going to put this nice black line down the middle to represent sort of that crease or like the vein down the center of the leaf. And we're going to speed this up here so you can see I determined that this leaf was going to be underneath that first one. And I'm just going in the order of what's below the next one and below the next one. And then not forgetting to put that vein down the middle. That is what really makes it very leaf-like. Or like what we would assume is the representation of a leaf. Now this one in the pile I'm doing last year because it's the most underneath leaf. And then we have one off to the side that's not touching any other leaves. And doing that same technique where we're putting the shadow in around it, I'm just adding a little bit extra there with some wet paint. And now we're going to go in and do the stems. So I don't actually stamp the stems, I just freehand them. And here's a little close up. It's kind of just like a long, skinny triangle. And again, that's just going to make it very leaf-like in our minds. Even if this painting isn't super hyper-realistic, these are unmistakably leaves. And then with that stem now, we want to outline that and give that a shadow as well. Using that same technique. Going in with a little bit of water and diffusing it around the edges. Okay, now we're going to switch to our lightest green. And this is the one we're going to use for a highlight. You could go all the way up to yellow here. I actually don't use the yellow in this painting, but if you wanted another layer of highlight, you could use that as well. But I found that this was light enough. It's kind of like a lime green. And so when looking at this painting, you want to choose a light source. So in this one, the light is coming from the left side, right? So the left side of the leaves is going to be highlighted, whereas the right side is going to just remain sort of more in the dark. So I'm going to follow that convention here. I'm going to have my light source coming from the left side. So I'm going to highlight along the shadow, but to the right of it on the left side of the leaf. And this is going to be a similar technique where you're going to put on 
the paint, it's a little diluted. Again, I use a wet paintbrush to dip into my paint. And then again, we're going along the shadow. Because after that crease in the leaf, there's going to be a raised area to the right of it that is going to get some of that highlight as well. And with these paints, they will get a little darker as they dry. And then at that point, you can add more highlight and touch it up as you see fit. And I'm just implying a little bit of texture to the leaf here. And always kind of diluting my paint with a little bit of water there. And again, we're doing the left side of the leaf. That's where the light is coming. And the stem and then alongside that crease as well. And this is a really basic lesson in highlight and shadow. Using shadow to force things into the background or to pull things forward to indicate what is on top of something else. Using overlap as well. And then using highlight to give it some more dimension. And this is a really basic example of just three different colors of green, but I think it's pretty effective. Three greens and a black, and you can make something that's pretty dimensional and has a pretty nice visual impact. And that is pretty much done. Um, you can see it looks pretty similar to our last painting. We've got all those highlights and lowlights. We've got that nice sort of textured background. And the last thing to do is we're going to take some red. I like red just because it typically stands out uh, against green. You know, they are uh, opposite each other on the color wheel. And we're going to use that just to sign our painting down in the corner. So I always like to thin the paint out a little bit with a little bit of a wet paintbrush. And then we'll go down here and I'm just going to drop my initials right in the corner there. And there we go. So thank you all so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this painting. If you try it, I would love to see it. Please check out our Facebook group called Crafting Community. That's part of the Dream Bank Madison Facebook page. And share your work. We'd love to see it. Thank you.